Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today's a little bit of a different one. Um, I'm going to literally just be doing a little get ready with me kind of thing. Uh, a little bit of skincare and makeup and choosing an outfit and just kind of talking about what's going on. <laughs> For the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take off the pseudogram from my face because I'm breaking out really badly right now and like big spots so I put some seed cream on for like half an hour so yeah I just thought I would do a video where I literally just like talk and ramble because I can talk for days I just thought I would get ready with you guys and speak I don't know <laughs> we'll see but yeah I've just got back from a driving lesson it's about I think it's like half ten maybe um and I'm not really doing much for the rest of the day but I just thought I'd get ready look how much I'm breaking out look at those two spots so yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is some skincare, which I'm doing right now. I've just put some cleansing and cellar water. I'm going to quickly wash my face with this stuff, which I got from Paris. Um, any French people, tell me if this is even a good brand. Because I just got it from a shop and I thought the packaging was cute. But yeah, this is the brand. If any French people can tell me if this is good or not, that would be much appreciated. But it's like a foam. Yeah, little update on my life. I finished my exams finally, so hopefully there'll be a lot more content. Um, and I went on a spontaneous trip to Copenhagen, which some of you may have seen. Yeah, the so I had a week off after my exams because I had three exams, but they were all in two days. So I had the rest of the week off. We found really cheap flights to Copenhagen and we were just like, why not? <laughs> it was honestly probably the best place I've been to. It was so nice. We only went for like, three days and two nights but it was like a perfect amount of time and we actually stayed in a hostel um which was a very new experience for me <laughs> i'm gonna moisturize um i'm gonna put some sun cream on but i'll do that before i start my makeup um i think this has got spf in it anyway okay so i'm gonna start makeup now i did take these clips out but i think they'll probably be useful first need to be able to see so i'm gonna put my contact lens in <laughs> my skin is really bothering me at the moment on this topic I don't know if anyone else has been feeling like this, but I've literally been feeling like I wanna delete myself off social media at the moment. Like I just feel like every picture I take of myself, every, just everything, I just feel like I look disgusting and not like me. And I feel like I don't know what I look like anymore. And I noticed that it was before I kind of, TikTok really, it was before TikTok, when I was a lot younger, I was never ever insecure about what I looked like. I never like compared myself to anyone really. Like I was obviously like a little bit insecure when I got to secondary school, but not to the extreme of what things are like now. Like I literally, sorry, I'm just putting some sun cream on. Um, I literally cannot go on TikTok without comparing myself to someone, whether that's like their outfits, their skin, just like anything. But it's honestly making me feel horrible about myself like horrible about myself because i'll like see a picture that's been taken of me and i'll be like oh my god is that what i look like like why does my nose look different in this picture than to this picture and why does why do i look better when i've inverted the picture and is that what people see me like and all these things and it's just like so damaging so i'm kind of trying to take a step back not from social media just kind of mainly tiktok like looking through like cool pretty girls my for you page like it's just not beneficial yeah, i think it's quite an important topic to talk about because especially as girls there's a lot to put on yourselves like on how we look and i think i've kind of always felt it not so much when i was a child obviously more when i got into secondary school honestly when i got a phone i'm gonna be using this which i got for for christmas um by the way just pre-warning this isn't a tutorial because my makeup is just it changes all the time and also i'm not an expert at all but this is how i do like a glowy look oh i forgot something i got this for christmas the glossier future Dew. um some people put this all over their face but i just put where like i'd put highlighter because it's really glowy it's but yeah Social media is a weird place. Like, there's obviously a lot of benefits to it. Like, I love doing what I do. Okay, now I look like a greasy ball. I'm gonna put some concealer on. This is Beauty Pie concealer. It's, it's not even concealer. It's like, it's meant to be like under eye highlighter, but I take a beauty blender and I literally just 
and go everywhere. I'm gonna have to cover the spots first because I don't wanna look through them anymore. Oh yeah, um, I do love social media. Like there is part of it that I love. Um, I love uploading, I love editing, I love filming. Oh, I don't even think it's like the YouTube like side of things that makes me insecure. I think it's once I go onto TikTok. I think TikTok's the main issue. I think we can all agree that everyone's just so cool on TikTok. Do you see what I mean by the feature Jew? Oh, it's cold. Yeah, it's like literally makes me shiny, but I don't have any powder. Oh, I should have done brows first. I was about to say I'll do some brows next, but I should have done that first. Oh well, I'll do it now. Um, I used to do this all the time, but I've started doing it again recently, which is soap brows. So I have it in this little tin. <laughs> uh, I've put water on it, and I have just like a spoolie. But yeah, I'll just, I literally just brush them up, and then I like. I don't know. <laughs> Everyone's eyebrows are different, so I can't really give a tutorial on how I do this. So. See, like, that kind of looks good. So I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I never was a fan of powder. I liked the shiny look, but this is like a little bit extreme. I'm now gonna do some blush. This might matter out a little bit, I hope, because I'm using cloud paint and it's not really shiny. I need some more of this and I need to take better care of it. Look at it. I can take the littlest bit because a little goes a long way with this. That is definitely mad it up a little bit okay now i'm gonna use the benetint guys this month i really want to get a tattoo um i'm 18 now so i can and i've got one in mind um it's like a little ladybird like tattoo i'd get it very very small i just love ladybirds but i want to get it like there so maybe i'll do that maybe i won't maybe i'll check it out but right now i'm really into the idea of getting a tattoo okay i'm now gonna put some highlighter just on my nose like just here, you know what I mean? I'm gonna use the end of the spoolie. I don't feel like putting on mascara today. I never feel like putting on mascara. It just makes, I think it just makes me look weird. Like I just, I'm not a mascara girl anymore. So I'm gonna put my Glossier Ultra Lip Lipstick on. This is my go-to everyday lip color. I did have another one, not an Ultra Lip. It was the other one, like the Generation G lipstick. And I've lost it. And it was my color for so long. But this is the new one, I guess. Um, I'm not gonna do my hair. I'm gonna straighten it and then I'm gonna put these little curlers in the front bits. Anyway, yeah, back to the tattoo conversation. I really wanna get one, but I'm really scared I'm gonna regret it. But I can't think of a reason why I'd regret getting a little ladybird on me. Like, that's kinda cute. Okay, final part of the video, I'm gonna choose an outfit. Okay. This is the outfit. <laughs> I am obsessed with this skirt. I think it's so cute. But I'm freezing with just this top on, to be honest. So I think I'm gonna like add like an oversized jumper. Um, and I'm gonna look in my mum's wardrobe. Okay, I just found this jumper, which I've never seen before um, in my mum's wardrobe. <laughs> and it's like purpley. It looks kind of blue on camera, but it's like very purple. I'm gonna see what that looks like. I quite like it. Um, I'm really into like granny outfits at the moment. Like I literally look like a gran. So yeah, this is the outfit. The makeup and hair is all done as well. So I'm all ready for the day. It's actually such a miserable day outside today. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Um, I hope you're all having a great day or night or whatever time it is where you are. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.